Hey guys, Solana from Red Moto, and today we're going to be doing a removal and installation of a 2015 Nissan Xterra rear bumper end cap, or sometimes they call it an extension. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on that push notification. And if you guys need any pre-painted auto body parts for your car, go to redmoto.com, your pre-painted auto body parts source. And if you guys need this particular end cap for your vehicle, the link is down below and up above. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is gonna go ahead and pop the trunk lid open. You guys look right here, there's gonna be a 10 millimeter bolt, one and two. So we're gonna go ahead and take that off. And all you need is one of these ratchet set. So it's gonna have a 10 millimeter. Just like that one right there. I'm gonna go ahead and take off these two bolts right here. Okay. All right, so they look, kind of look like this one right here. So it's gonna be two of them. All right, guys, so you guys are gonna go underneath the vehicle or in the side of the vehicle. And this one's kind of hidden, but you see that that screw right there? Take that off. And then back here is gonna be push pins. So we're gonna take those off. There's gonna be one and two. And then we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. All right, so you just need one of these Phillips right here. To take it off, right there. And it's gonna be right back here. That one fell. So, it looks like that right there. And then back here, these push pins right here. So you can either have one of these tools right here, which is a panel removal tool, or a flathead would do. So basically, they look like this thing right here, but they're depressed down like this. And all you do is go in between and pop it up. So if you have one of these, just pop it up like that. And they pop out and just take them off. If you have one of these, you gotta kind of go in different sizes and kind of pop them off like that, and they eventually pop off. So there's gonna be two of them right back here. They look like that. Oh, it looks like this one should be almost ready to go. Let me just see if I need to take off anything else. Alright, so there is one more push pin that you guys have to take off. Which is going to be right underneath here. So if you guys are looking from top to bottom, it's going to be right there. It's missing it, so it looks like a push pin like this one again. So just take it off right there, okay? So then we can go ahead and take off this. So now we can go ahead and take off this uh, rear bumper end cap or extension. So go on one side and pull like this. Hmm. Let's see if I need to take off these bolts right here. Oh, okay. So there's these. Um, these screws right here also let me show you guys it looks like we got to take those off too I thought we could just take it off by taking off those push pins in the back of the mud flap but it looks like it's secured by these things too so we got to take this thing off too so let's see it looks like our flat our Phillips can just go ahead and take that off yeah so you just get a long Phillips and should be able to take that off So there's two of them. Take off right there. You look like this. One and two of them. So now you can go ahead and come to the side. Like that. And right here. And it should just slide out just like that. So the mug flaps. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off from here. Take off this push pin right here, off. There we go. And then, so if you guys have this thing right here, this is step pad. 
go ahead and take off these bolts right here. It's gonna be 10 millimeters. So there's quite a bit of them, but this one's broken and the customer didn't want to buy another one. So we're trying to reuse this one right here. So now that we have our new bumper step pad or extension on and we put the accessories back on, we're gonna go ahead and slide it in. So it should slide right in, but just gotta remember guys, see this bracket right here? Make sure the bumper itself is on top of that bracket, okay? That's the only thing you have to look out for. Right here also, that bracket. And then, just line up these holes right here. Right. So once you guys have that uh, bracket underneath the bumper pad, go ahead and press it in. That. There's also a bracket right here, but you guys can't see because the bumper goes on top of that bracket, okay? So then everything should line up. It's good to go. So now put those 10 millimeter bolts back into place. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put the mud flaps back on. Remember, there's gonna be screws on the side of the actual extension. And then right back there, remember those push pins, there's two of them, put that back into place. Mud flaps back onto place right here. Line it up, and then I'm gonna put this one back on first. So it's gonna be a push pin right here. Screw this into Do this place. one first right here, so I can line up the uh, other screw. So these push pins go in here. Remember, put these push pins into place. Last but not least, there's gonna be a push pin right here that you guys have to take uh, put back in. Okay, so this one's missing one. I'm gonna get the customer a brand new one so we can get that one fixed right there. And over here, guys, put these push pins into place. So one and two these um, screws one right there one right there and then one right there and you should guys be all done all right guys so that's how you install a 2015 nissan xterra rear bumper end cap or extension if you guys have any oh it's hot so if you guys have any questions comment down below and i'll answer all those questions for you thank you guys